I'm going to give you five fiction books from Palestine or by Palestinian authors. Just like last week where I gave you five non-fiction books about Palestine, I'm not going to go into too much detail about these books because I've either already made a video about them or will make a more in-depth video coming up soon. The links to all the books will be in the description down below, as well as a link to MAP so you can donate to help the people in Gaza. First up, The Dance of the Deep Blue Scorpion. This book is crazy. It is so different from all the other books and so different from a lot of other books you'll probably read. It's a very experimental novel about a young man growing up in Palestine and his family and his love and his pursuit to write a book but also it's just completely out there in every single way. It is heart-wrenching, it is mind-boggling, it is quite the read. So this one, if you are really into sort of experimental writing, I would definitely pick this one up. Next up is Minor Details. This book was already a great book, but it really came to prominence recently because the author was supposed to receive a award in Germany, however the giving of the award was cancelled slash rescheduled because of what's happening in Palestine. It tells you a lot about sort of Germany's outlook on what's happening to the Palestinian people. You may struggle to pick up this book because ever since that occurred, loads and loads of people in solidarity with the author have gone out to purchase this book. You might struggle to find it first-hand. I managed to grab a copy second-hand, but it was a lot more expensive than it would have been had I bought it first-hand. Thirdly is Salt House. It's a really great book about a family and it crosses generations. So if you think about Pachinko, which was really, really popular over the past couple of years, and I believe there's now a TV adaptation about it, it's very similar that it spans multiple generations so if you really want that like deep family history type book this is a really great one for you to pick up so if you liked pachinko i definitely think you should pick this one up fourth is morning in jenin this is from 2006 it's actually one of the first books i read set in palestine i'm pretty sure i was writing a paper and i mistook this as being a non-fiction book when i bought it obviously i knew i was reading a fiction book when i was reading it i'm not I'm not that silly, but uh, this is one of the first books I read set in Palestine, and it's kind of like some of the earlier ones. It's heart-wrenching. It's all about loss. It's all about the effects of war. And, you know, it's for, for me personally, I would widely recommend it purely because it's one of the first ones where I was like, a way of telling this story of oppression it was one of the first times I'd read something like that that wasn't sort of a YA version of telling that. And finally, Men in the Sun. This is by Hassan Ganafani. He is a well-known and prominent political activist. He was a well-known and prominent Palestinian political activist. Uh, you've probably come across some of his interviews if you, you know, have had your eye on Palestine for quite a while. There's one in particular, I think, with a British broadcast agency where they're asking him, why won't you surrender? Why won't the Palestinian people surrender? So I would read this and obviously the, the story itself, it also kind of hits home for me about uh, people who were refugees who were trying to go elsewhere and struggling because of the way refugees have been and are still treated uh, and it has some you know hits home for some personal reasons as well but I would also recommend this as a springboard to go off to read some of his non-fiction work to read some of his more uh, philosophical and political work uh, so I think this is a really great starting point for that. Those are my five fiction Palestinian books I recommend you get this holiday season. I was very, you know, hush-hush about what the books are about because unlike non-fiction, where you kind of have to tell someone the contents of a book beforehand, I don't want to spoil these books because these books are amazing pieces of art. They're amazing pieces of literature. You should read and enjoy them and understand the spirit of the Palestinian people, understand the beauty that they can produce with their words. They can produce the beauty with everything, but in this case, their words. Go and read and understand them, understand the pain through the writing, understand how these people feel and how they are expressing it. 
So, like I said at the beginning, links to the books are going to be down below. Might be missing some, depending if they're out of stock. For example, minor details might be. Also, there's a link to MAP where you can donate. MAP is one of the approved charities that a lot of Palestinians are talking about that are able to, you know, have more of an impact in Gaza, despite humanitarian aid being sparse. The ability to get humanitarian aid in is very, very limited. So, remember, go out, talk about Palestine, go to protests if and when you can. Don't stop posting about it on your socials. Don't stop talking about your friends and family about it. Gift these books to people so they can learn more about the heart and the soul of the Palestinian people. Hey, pick up some zines. Be sure to share those zines, print posters, whatever you can do to help the people of Palestine. Lobby your elected officials, even if they feel like they're not going to listen to you. Continue to lobby them. Thank you for watching, and please, please, please keep working to help end the oppression of the Palestinian people and end the oppression of all peoples. Thank you.